uh, this is the um, what is the brand? This is the Samsa Green Back um, Kidney Model, and we'll start with the whole kidney, the gross anatomy of the kidney. So we will start in here with the um, renal vein number one. Although it looks like a seven, okay. Number one is the renal vein. Number two is the renal artery. Number three is the ureter. Okay. Number four is the renal pelvis. And number five is labeling a calyx. Okay, this model doesn't distinguish between major and minor calluses. Um, let's see, seven here is the is on a pyramid of the medulla. So you could call that the a renal pyramid or the medulla. Um, let's see, we'll label 13 is an interlobar artery. 17 is an interlobar vein. Remember those run between the lobes or between the pyramids. And then here we have an arcuate artery and an arcuate vein. Okay, those run between the cortex and the medulla. And then those branch to become these out here, which are the cortical radiate artery and vein, or we can say interlobular artery and vein. And those um, are not labeled on this one, they're labeled on the next one. Number 12 is a corpuscle. All of these little dots are the corpuscles. Um, or we can say, we can look at that and think of it as being the Bowman's capsule, which is the outer part of the corpuscle. Um, and then we have a collecting duct, number eight. It's a collecting duct or collecting tubule. And then, let's see, B labels the cortex out here. Okay, the cortex is all of this outer part. I think that's it on that one. Yes. Okay, and then, um, this is a closer up view of um, the nephrons and the collecting duct. So just to kind of, this is one pyramid. We see the cortex here, the medulla down here. Okay, so, so number seven labels again the arcuate artery and the arcuate vein. Um, number one, which looks like a seven, but one is a corpuscle. Um, the glomerulus, we see this one's got part of the Bowman's capsule removed, so we can see the glomerulus here. Um, number eight is a cortical radiate, or what we call interlobular artery. And so branching from the interlobular is the afferent right here, but it's actually labeled over here. Number nine is the afferent arteriole. And then number 10 labels an efferent. So coming out, this would branch to become those paratubular capillaries. Okay, and then we'll go back in at this Bowman's capsule. So um, the tubing or the tubule that leaves the Bowman's capsule is number two. That's the proximal convoluted tubule or PCT. Okay, it extends into here. And then 2B um, is going to be the descending loop of Henle. Um, and then we'll come back up. There's a three there in that thin segment of the loop. But we'll come back up and we'll do the ascending loop. Okay, there's four. Four is part of that ascending loop. And then 4D is going to be the, D, um, the distal convoluted tubule, or DCT. And then 6 here is the collecting duct. Okay, see we have several places where nephrons connect to one connecting or collecting duct. And then 11 would be these paratubular capillaries. I'm not sure if we did that one on this model. Okay, and then this last model here on this plate is the Bowman's capsule. Okay, I think, what number? that has a two on it. Okay, the Bowman's capsule is, is this. Um, this is the glomerulus. This looks like a seven, but that's a one. Okay, so all of this is the glomerulus. This shows those little podocyte cells on the outer surface of the glomerulus. And this is just naked capillaries here. Um, this is the afferent arteriole or afferent arteriole. Notice its diameter is greater. And this is the efferent or efferent arteriole with a smaller diameter. And this is the portion of the DCT, okay, that meet or joins, forms that JGA with this right here, with the afferent. But we'll just want to name 11 um, the DCT.